Hey guys, it's Let's Chat 6 here. I got a couple requests on a guide on how I went about creating mixed reality for my videos that I recently uploaded. So as you can see behind me, here's my green screen setup and I'll go through everything I had to buy in order to get it working. Don't worry, I'll have the links to everything that I talk about in this video in the description below. So first of all, of course, the most important part of this whole thing is the green screen. So I did buy three separate green screens in order to make sure that I got every bit covered up. All these supplies are from Amazon. And I also had to separately buy these hangers. Now it is set up in the basement, so don't worry about how rough it looks because you won't see that in the final product of the videos. So here's everything so far. The next thing you're gonna need is lighting, of course. And that was a separate purchase from Amazon. So I'll show you my, my set of lights here. Here are the other two. Now the ring light I've had for a long time, but that was another purchase from Amazon. And that's kind of where I mount my webcam when I'm using it to record my videos. And of course you'll need the headset. I personally use an Oculus Quest with Link, but you can also use any major PC VR headset. This tutorial specifically will also apply to the Rift S because the controllers are the same. All right. So assuming this is the first time that you set this up, you won't have a camera paired up. So I'm gonna click on Launch Compositor. Next, I'm going to click on Camera, then Add, Type. So you can do Avatar, Video Camera, or Microsoft Connect. So I'm gonna select Video Camera. Device, my device is the HD Pro Webcam C920. I'm going to select the top resolution, and you can name it whatever you want down here, but I'm going to just leave it as it is. So I'm going to switch back to my own camera that I already set up. Then we're going to go to Edit, Calibration, and Begin Calibration. So next, this Viver window will pop up and you will have the option to start calibration. And now it says you can continue calibration inside your HMD. All right, so first of all, the reason you're seeing me from behind is because anytime you're gonna record a Beat Saber video, Pistol Whip, something like that, where you're gonna see the player from behind, you're gonna wanna do it at an angle as well as from behind. So in the headset, I'm gonna start to hit calibrate and it says in the top right, press trigger button to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now a giant crosshair shows up. So that's where you're gonna line the controller up. Now while you're on an Oculus Quest or a Rift S, you're gonna want the triggers to line up perfectly with the middle of the crosshair. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and click. Then I'm gonna go back to that one. Now the window in the headset moves with you, which is a nice little feature, it'll help line things up. I'm going to turn around again because you do want the controllers always facing the camera when you're syncing up. And right there. So then I'm going to go to the next one. Down here. Now it says step further from camera. So I'm going to do that first. Might have to crouch down a little bit to that one. It is kind of hard to navigate the front and back and which way to go, but once you get it, you'll understand. There we go, right about there. So now, as you can see, it's almost perfectly lined up with my controllers. So that's how your sabers are gonna line up, that's how everything's gonna look like you're actually holding the items in the games. So in the headset now, I'm gonna hit save. Now you can't see it here, but once you're done, you'll go back to your computer and it will show a window that says your configuration has been saved. So you'll hit OK on that. And then on this window, you'll hit save. Then you're all set. You're ready to capture some mixed reality. So you'll click capture, select the game that you want to record. So in this case, I'm doing Beat Saber and sync and launch. And what that will do once you click it is it will throw you into mixed reality. So you have to be ready to play. In this case, since I have Beat Saber selected, it's going to sync and launch Beat Saber. And that's it. That's all it takes to set up Live. If you want to see more like this in the future, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Bye.